guys, today I'm going to be filming my guys so today I'm going to be filming a part three to my kind of damaged hair series I'll link part one and part two down below this series is really just you know I'm learning as I go and I really appreciate all the comments that you guys have left on both of those videos because I've learned so much from all you guys and just the conversations that happen in that comment section. So thank you again. I just filmed an empties video, which I did talk about a couple of these products because they are well empty. But I kind of just want to go over products that I have mentioned in the previous two videos, whether I still love them and use them. I also want to talk about some new products that I discovered that I'm really liking thus far and just like my overall hair update in general. So since the last video, so that was part two, I have colored my hair again. I got it all over bleached. As you can see, I got my roots done and it's looking just like a little bit blonder, which is definitely what I was going for. This last time I didn't use Olaplex just because the bleach was only sitting on my already lightened hair for just like literally three minutes. But the time before that, so what my hair looked like in the part two series, I had had Olaplex. I just want to say that Olaplex totally saved me in that one because I felt like you know, I got a full head of foils on super, super, super damaged hair and I know that I shouldn't have done it, but I'm so glad that I did and I felt like the damage was not extensive and my hair is definitely bounced back, even being bleached a second time after that, which is the hair that I have now. When you have damaged hair, it almost doesn't act like normal hair anymore. Like it doesn't get staticky, it doesn't shine, it doesn't bounce and my hair does do that now. Like. There is some shine there, it gets staticky, it gets slippery, and that's how I know that these products are helping. And even if they're not totally helping the core, like getting it back to healthy, at least it looks and feels it. And that's really all I can ask for, especially with all the torture I put my hair through. So, story time's over. Let's get to some products that I have mentioned before and kind of go over if I'm still using them and all that. So in part two, I introduced you guys to these Redken Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner set. And I have since repurchased the conditioner twice and I will definitely be repurchasing the shampoo. Whenever I use this conditioner, my hair feels so much healthier and the shampoo is just so gentle, you know? It doesn't suds up and make your hair feel like squeaky dry clean. And every time I use them, I feel such a big difference. I usually go back and forth between using this and something else just because one, this is so expensive, I don't want to use it up too quickly. And also too much protein is actually bad for your hair and can make it feel a little bit more brittle. So I tried to, you know, mix it up. In part one of my hair damage series, I mentioned this TG Pro Reconstructing. I have the shampoo and the conditioner. I just don't know where the shampoo is right now. But anyway, looks like this and you can get it from Sally's. This was a really great purchase for my hair at the time. It was very, very hydrating, but I don't think it really reconstructs as much as let's say this Redken one. So I definitely prefer the Redken over this because even though it made my hair feel like silky and smooth and, and I really needed that at the time, it also made my hair feel a little bit greasy, which was an okay trade-off at the time because I was like, oh, my hair feels so great. I don't care if it feels greasy. But after my hair started feeling better again, I didn't like the greasiness of it. So I did stop using this TG Pro stuff, um, but it was really good for like hydration and like smoothing. In part one, I mentioned both of these products, the Pantene Overnight Miracle Cream and this L'Oreal Nutri Shimmer, basically a treatment, shine treatment. Like this a lot, it actually does work well. Immediately after I use it, my hair has like a shimmer to it, but I will say, just like the TG Pro thing, it kind of made my hair feel greasy, but I do still like this product and I do use it once in a while if my hair is looking dull and I just run it through kind of my ends and if I avoid my scalp then it still is a really great product. This overnight treatment, I still swear by this. I don't know what's in it and I don't know what it does but I just like put like two pumps in my hand on my dry hair at night, put it all through my uh, damaged bar parts which are basically just like my top front parts like these sections right here that are actually pulled up in my ponytail like these are my most damaged 
bits and when I wake up in the morning, it's almost like it melds my split ends together and makes my hair feel so much softer and not so many like little broken flyaways are there. I don't know what it is, amazing drugstore product. Also in part one, I mentioned this Pro Mend Split End Binding thing. I still use this all the time. I kind of took a break from it because I was trying so many other different products. I didn't want to, you know, overdo it with the product buildup, but I've recently gone back to this because no matter what, when I use this, my hair looks and feels better. Doesn't matter if I'm having a crazy frizzy dry hair day. This stuff always saves me. So definitely I'm still in love with this Pro Mend Split End Binding from Nexus. So in part two, I was raving about these two products and one of them is definitely a clear winner need to buy forever and it is this AG Reconstruct Keratin Repair Mask. I got this at Chatters which you can buy in Canada. They also have a website, chatters.ca, I believe. Other than that, I don't know where to get it. I got a lot of comments on that video saying they couldn't find it anywhere, so I apologize for that. I don't know where else to get it, but maybe at a salon because it is an AG product. I think this is really what made my hair look and feel like normal again, you know? Like have the shine and have the static. I really think this is what did it for me. I don't know, you can put it on for two to five minutes in the shower or you can leave it on for like 20 minutes as a mask. If you have stringy, dry, brittle, like breaking off everywhere, just nasty, stretchy hair, I definitely recommend this. I think it was 20 or $25. So as soon as I get back to Chatters, I will be buying a new one of this. This product is such a love-hate for me. Not even hate, just like love-meh product for me because for so long, I could not live without it. And when I didn't use it, my hair like hated me. Like it just did not feel good, it felt awful. So I just felt like I had to keep using it. But then I thought, well, that's not good if it's making my hair feel worse when I'm not using it. And I also felt like it coated my hair with something which made it look great, but it was starting to make it feel really heavy and like product build up -y, you know? So I don't know, I think I would rather try maybe the Pureology that has like so many benefits in one kind of deal. Maybe that's like a little less build up -y, but this was my favorite for a long time. As mentioned, um, I think in my first damaged hair video, this Nexus Pro Mend Heat Protects Heat Styling Spray is still my favorite of them all. This is the heat protection spray I use every single day and I like it because it actually feels like it's coating my hair but not making it heavy or greasy or oily in any way. It just, I can feel the barrier. I don't know what it is. This is not the original cap. It actually comes with like a grayish blue like spray thing but I broke mine. And for some reason, this I had this random cap on something else and it happened to fit, so, you know, a little DIY action. And I also mentioned this anti-residue shampoo in my part two, which is super important for getting rid of product buildup. This is a Neutrogena one, basically a clarifying shampoo. You can get this in so many different brands, as long as this is clarifying. And I do wanna say that I'm not using all these products like every day or all the time. Like these are just products that I've tried that, you know, I just wanna share with you that I think work, but still using masks and sprays and oils in your hair, it does create buildup, especially in damaged hair because your hair is so porous and dry that it just wants to soak up everything that you put in it. So giving your hair like a really good clean with something like this is definitely really important. So now I'm gonna talk about things that I have recently been using that I do like. So the first thing is this L'Oreal Total Repair Shampoo, and I think they have a conditioner to go with it, and I have used that before, but I didn't particularly like it. But the shampoo I actually do really like, and this is on sale for like $3 at the drugstore recently, and I bought it because my red kin is all empty, and I just didn't want to spend the $17 on it because I was really poor at the time, but I will repurchase this. But this is actually a really great product, and I do like it. I do think it does what it says. Um, one, strength. Two, density. Three, vitality. Four, shine. Silky touch. Those are kind of the things it, you know, targets, and I do think it is really nice. It doesn't make my hair greasy, and 
yeah, for $3, I'm really, really liking this. So if you're like me and can't afford the Redken, right now at least, I think this is a decent alternative. I have been using this Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Mask. I think it's pretty good. When I use it, my hair feels softer. I think this is okay for the price that I paid and I do use it once in a while. This product I got at the dollar store and if you can find it anywhere, you should buy it. And this is the Daily Defense 3 Minute Argan Oil Deep Conditioner. Every time I use it, my hair feels amazing. Like actually amazing. And it's not greasy. It's very light and I don't know, there's no, even though it says um, argan oil, it doesn't feel oily. It's just very lightweight and um, I don't know, it makes my hair feel so, so, so soft. Now I've been using these two like blonding things. So I feel like you could just use this no matter what shade your hair is, but this is a Schwarzkopf, 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 a blonde me and this is a shine enhancing spray like look at that in there like it just looks so beautiful anyway when you shake it off all these like little gold flakes just go everywhere and it makes my hair look shiny I usually put it in when it's like almost dry um, right before I finish blow drying it and I do think it makes my hair look really shiny and beautiful I've also I only just recently got this it looks like I haven't used any but I have used it quite a few times now um, and it's the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Brightening Oil Elixir. Yeah, I just use like teeniest, tiniest pea size amount, rub it in my fingers and just put it through the very damaged, dry ends of my hair, especially on top. And like I said, this is my most damaged part, which actually doesn't look too, too bad, but compared to the rest of my hair, like this chunk right here sucks. I don't think it brightens anything, so I'm not really sure why the name says brightening but it does make it feel very soft and smooth and I put this in dry hair, I just, I really, really like it. And I also mentioned this in my empties video that I just filmed and it is the It's a 10 Miracle Styling Serum. I've had this for so long and I think I just, it's been running on empty for a long time now so I just didn't include it in my other videos but I do wanna say that this has been amazing and it really makes hair shiny and like give it flip and just like, you know, the bounce that, you know, sometimes damaged and dull hair kind of lacks. I also have bought in this new hairbrush and it's very similar, oh, it's grossly full of hair, but it's very similar to the Tangle Teaser where it's like plastic, very, very flexible bristles. So, I mean, I didn't want to spend like the 20 or $25 on like an actual Tangle Teaser, but I did find this kind of dupe I forget where I got it, drugstore, dollar store or something. But I do really like it. Um, I think that it's worth it, especially if you're brushing kind of damp or wet damaged hair. Like you need to have a gentle hairbrush, not something that's gonna tug and rip out your hair that's really susceptible to breakage. So I do really like this and um, the Tangle Teaser, same idea. Anyway, that is all the products that I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope that this helped you guys. And like I said, I will link my part one and part two to this kind of damaged hair series down below so you guys can check it out. And I think that as you go through the videos and just all my videos in general, really, you can really see the evolution of my hair and that, you know, at one point my hair, I could literally just do this and I, if I pulled hard enough, I could just rip my hair right off. Like it was so stretchy and stringy, cotton candy, like it was so, so, so fragile. And now I feel like my hair looks decent again. I mean, this part is really dry here, but um, other than that, like my hair feels so much better. And that's with going through a full head of highlights and then an all over bleach too. And these products I feel have really brought my hair back to life or at least look and feel back to life. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Give a comment down below if you have any suggestions or anything like that because I totally appreciate it and I want this video to be a source for people to have a conversation about this and help each other and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it helps me out so so much and I put out new videos every single week so I will see you in the next one bye guys